Okay, in this step we're going to finish the two parts of the coin sensor. Um, and those two parts are these. This is, um, you may remember the coin sensor assembly that we built earlier, or we, uh, we cemented together earlier. And then we need this part from the dark sheet um, called um, the tongue, or the coin uh, intake ramp. So we're going to peel this guy. So the way the coin sensor actually works, um, we're going to coat this uh, entire top uh, platform here with uh, conductive copper tape. And then um, this is the uh, ramp which uh, allows coins to roll down into the machine. And this uh, here, this little part here at the end, uh, the squared off part, um, is uh, the part of, the, of this ramp that will be actually inside the machine. So we're going to wrap this also with conductive copper tape and uh, they'll be situated pretty much like this inside the machine and what happens when a coin rolls in is that it rolls onto the copper that we have um, on this part of the uh, ramp and uh, the edge of the coin will strike somewhere along um, the copper clad angled edge of the coin sensor here and uh, that'll briefly complete an uh, electrical circuit which will allow us to count the coin. Um, it might be a little easier to understand once these parts are installed inside the crow box, but I thought maybe um, just giving you a little indication of how those work together might um, might help under, help you understand what we're what we're trying to do here. So <clears throat> my copper tape here's a piece of it. Um, I haven't peeled the back off of it yet. That came off of a much larger roll that I use for all kinds of projects. Um, you can see, I think this is a four inch yeah four inch wide roll. Um, your roll may be half inch wide or an inch wide. Uh, the nice thing about these copper tapes is that the adhesive on the back of them is also conductive. Um, so if you don't have um, uh, a roll large enough to let you take a nice big sheet like this off, um, you can still overlap your thinner strips of tape to cover the same area. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my scissors here and I'm going to cut a piece roughly the size of what I'm trying to cover on the, uh, the coin sensor. I'm going to put the uh, ramp aside for a second. So now that I've got a piece of copper tape which will cover this nicely, the idea here is to um, make sure that this edge here, uh, this edge in particular along the, um, the thin edge of the acrylic is, is covered with, with copper. So I'm actually just going to cover this whole thing top and bottom as best I can. So I can see that my piece is a little wide. I'm going to trim this down maybe a quarter of an inch in width. And that's a little better. And copper tape is kind of funny. Um, it's difficult to peel the paper off without curling the metal tape itself a little bit. So uh, I'm just going to go slowly and try to be careful here and see if I can't get this piece off with the least amount of distortion. It's not too bad. So now I'm just going to put that right on here. There, flatten that, and then get this fold here, which is pretty important. This is the part that uh, ensures that the edge that's supposed to detect the coin actually is covered in copper. And that's what I'm talking about, just making sure that uh, this uh, thinner edge of the plastic has a nice uh, facing of, of copper on it. What happens back here isn't so important. I can trim this down on the go. Just kind of fold it up, tuck it under. And on this side is where our gator clip is going to connect. So if we can get that covered top and bottom, it's a good idea too. Again, any extra tape you can just fold and crimp away. There. That's exactly how we want it. Just like that. So with the coin sensor part done, now we'll talk about how we're going to get copper into the right place on the tongue here. Well, I call it the tongue. Uh, it's officially in the parts. It's called the coin intake ramp. So, the way this part installs is it goes right into the slot here and it runs through into a corresponding slot here in front of the crow box and you can kind of see now 
when we have our ramp panels in place here, bring the coin down, it'll be dropped on its edge here and roll inside the machine. <clears throat> so we can look down here actually and see how much of this is going to hang out into the machine. And what I like to do is take a Sharpie and just mark that so that I know where I need to make sure my copper is. So we'll take this out for now. The crow box back over here for a moment. And now we can look at where we need to place copper. So we're going to wrap the rest of this this part from these lines down. So go ahead and trim a piece that's roughly about the size I need. Now as we apply the tape, um, it's the copper tape I mean, it's important that the copper that's on this side of the ramp uh, be nice and smooth. That's where our coin's going to roll down. It doesn't matter how much we bunch it up on the back um, if we need to. Um, but there's one other thing we need to do here with this um, tape, and we need to leave a tab um, hanging off this way uh, of copper tape so that we can clip an alligator clip to it. So I kind of want to make sure, look at my tape here and see, it's not quite what I was looking for. So I'm going to take a longer strip of this. In this case, I'm going to decide to use more if I have to and trim it down. So what I'm looking for is being able to wrap this whole thing and leave myself this strip over here on the side, which will let me hook an alligator clip. So we'll just trim everything away that we're not going to use. That looks good to me. So in order to get this installed, we're going to need take our machine apart here, take this front panel off yet again. I know we've had it on and off a lot of times, but it is just a handy way to, to borrow alignment from the rest of the box. So to get this installed properly, the tape I mean, we'll have to put this ramp in and uh, wrap it while it's actually in place. So, I'd like to go ahead and cement this part now. So in order to do that, back on again. So I just want to make sure this is tapped in all the way. Get my cement. So I am going to place cement right here in this junction where the uh, this uh, intake ramp meets the um, this little nub at the bottom of the uh, basket window. And I'm going to be fairly liberal with the cement here because we want a good seal there. Also, this is one of the things that helps with strength. So I'll put my little applicator onto my cement. So I'll make sure that the that the intake ramp is tapped all the way in. I'm going to make sure it's held down this way too and try to get cement only into the gap here. Nowhere else. And once that cement is on, I like to stand this up so I need to put my tape back on for a moment. Stand that up just like that. a spot. We also need to do the same right down here. And you can see here it's important that you make sure the ramp is resting. Use your finger inside through the access port there and just push that part down. Get your cement in there. I like to let it bounce one time like this just so the cement goes down into the gap. You shouldn't need to hold this. You can actually stand the box up and let gravity hold these parts where they need to be. And those won't be ready to handle for a little while, so um, we're going to set this aside, let it dry for 15 minutes before we move on.
Okay, so I've given this about 15, 20 minutes to dry down um, so that I know that that cement's not going to run anywhere um, and the parts are strong enough to do what, at least what I'm ready to do, which is put that copper on the coin sensor. So yet again, we take our machine face panel off, set that box aside, I'm going to put this over on its nose like this, and I'm also going to put it on something because I don't want this banging into my work surface yet. Yeah, when I'm not sure that cement's at 100% strength. But I do feel good enough to put this copper on to here. So again, um, we want the to make sure that the top surface is wrapped as smoothly as possible, and we want to leave some spare tape over here, um, about a quarter of an inch or so, just like that, um, so that we'll have a, an opportunity to hook our gator clips um, to, the, to the tab on the tape, which uh, is how our sensor gets connected to the machine. So I'm going to go ahead and peel that off. Slide that tape up under first. And very carefully make sure that I smooth it over the top of this part. And then, let's see what I've got here for my gators to clip to. Just Fold, fold, fold the adhesive side down. And that'll make a little tab with some extra strength there. So as you can see, the coins have a nice smooth surface to roll in on, and I've got a fairly durable tab of uh, tape sticking out the end there, which will let me hook my gator clip. Of course, we want to trim this because the uh, intake ramp can't be any longer than it already is. So, in this case, we're just going to try to make all this tape here lay down and behave. And that's pretty much it for the work on the coin sensor. We've got the uh, end of our little intake ramp clad in copper. We've got a nice little place here for our gator clip. And uh, the other half of the coin sensor also is clad in copper and ready to go. So that's that for the coin sensors.